Imagine having a birthday on Halloween. Oh, wow. What is it? It's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I wonder what... I should have known he'd smurf me. Ah, uh, Jokey, isn't it wonderful that your birthday is on Halloween? <laughs> Not many smurfs are as lucky as I am, Papa Smurf. I bet there's nobody else in the whole forest. Nobody else in the whole world that has a birthday on Halloween. Well, Jokey, there is at least one person. Birthdays! Bah! Who needs birthdays? Having a birthday on Halloween is stupid, stupid! Can't imagine what Mummy was thinking of. Well, there'll be no party here. Never has been, never will be. <laughs> Halloween! Bah! Birthdays! Bah! And you think those rotten Smurfs will be having a party? Ouch! Stupid fly! To think those little blue beasts will be celebrating and giving thanks for a good harvest! It's enough to make me throw up! I'll harvest them! I'll harvest their little blue heads right off! Stop all that happiness out there! Do you hear? Stop it! Oh well, perhaps Mummy will send some hard raisins. She did last year. And one for Queenie, and one for Vanity, and one for Happy, and one for <laughs> oh, I just love Halloween. Don't you, Harold? I'm so looking forward to frightening the little children. <laughs> Maybe they'll cry. Oh, they get such a good scare. <laughs> Sometimes it takes years for the little dears to get over it. <laughs> Some of them never get over it. Yes, my pet, soon, soon we shall fly across the hallowed moon and swoop down on the sleeping villagers. Let them hand out their garlic. Let them say their prayers. Let them do what they like. But there is no warding off Hogatha the witch. <laughs> Lazy Smurf, take Jokey's cart out into the forest and see if you can find some red leaves for decorations. Yes, Papa Smurf. Hurry, soon it will be time for Jokey's birthday party. Yes, Papa Smurf. <sighs> As I have been saying, Papa Smurf, Lazy's lack of a sense of social responsibility is appalling. I was telling Smurfette just the other day that... Papa Smurf... Goodbye, safe journey! Oh, I do hate to see them go. Oh, well, they'll be back. Uh, uh, now, now, where was I? Oh, yes, the leaves. Oh, they're so lovely. My darlings, you look so lovely just the way you are, but time marches on, you know. Sleep, my little ones. Sleep until next year. Oh, these miserable corns. Now what? Some imbecile child looking for a Halloween treat? I'll give them a treat. I'll give them a good rap on the knuckles with my stick. 
what have we here? Someone remembered my birthday after all. Let's see now. Who could it be from? Uh, Mummy? Godfather? Uh, perhaps? Ah, I wonder. Happy birthday, Gargamel! <laughs> Humiliate me, will they? I'll give you a Halloween! I'll give you a present! <laughs> oh, gosh, there isn't a red leaf in sight. All this work has made me sleepy. Oh, well, maybe a little nap. Oh, maybe when I wake up, the leaves will be red. Well, I will. <laughs> You worthless cat, letting him get away. You'll go without for that failure. Ah, here we are. I'll show those rotten smurfs. Mock my birthday, will they? I'll show them. They'll never forget this Halloween. They'll never forget it. Sleep well. Oh, I love this spot.
Weenie, Winnie, give Smurfs pain. Weenie, Winnie, let it rain. <laughs> to rain on Halloween. None of my charts predicted rain. Something is wrong. Something is very wrong. I hate rain. It never rains on Halloween. It never rains on a Smurf's birthday. Oh, Papa Smurf, do you think Lazy's all right out in the storm? I suppose you think I overdid it. You fool bird. Can't you see we're losing altitude? I knew I should have taken the broom. Whoa! Well, I guess I overdid it, Azriel. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's bad enough. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Maybe a little nap will make me feel like <laughs> I'm trying to read a red <laughs> What's going on up there? Who is that? It's me. Who? Hagatha! Cockamel! What are you doing up there, you ugly old crone? <laughs> uh, nice weather we're having. <laughs> uh, a fine example of my superior magic, don't you think? Oh, you did this. You're the reason I'm missing Halloween. You spoiled all Hallow's Eve. Why? Why? Just to spite those stupid Smurfs? Don't you realize I spent an entire year getting ready for this one night? Don't you realize if I don't make my rounds, the little children might even be disappointed that they like being frightened? So you see, Father Time, the poor little creature is all red. I just don't know what to do. He's so ashamed. He'll probably miss Jokey's birthday party. You are well aware time cannot be turned back. The idea is unthinkable. My own fault, really. I should have looked before I zapped. Oh, there must be something we can do. Nothing. Now, Father, the least you can do is try. To go back in time? Mother, this is a serious matter. More than serious, it just isn't done. Perhaps you could go back and get my other wands. Mother, I have more important things to do than fetch wands. There's a jar of snuff berry jam in the cupboard. Uh, there is? Get him, Azriel, get him! Gotcha! <laughs> Well, 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 what have we here? A red smurf? A red smurf? <laughs> well, what have you got to say for yourself, eh? I wonder how it happened. I wonder if this condition changes the chemical composition. He's mine, anyway. Do you suppose one red smurf is the equivalent of six blue ones? I saw him first. No, 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 he's mine. Mine? Mine! Hefty, you take a group to Gargamel's and see if he's there. Yes, Papa Smurf. Smurfette, organize a group and go with me. We'll search the forest. Yes, Papa Smurf. And the rest of you. Yes, yes Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf. Put away those umbrellas. Yes, Papa Smurf. My dear Hagatha, why don't we work this out like reasonable people? If you don't give him to me, I'll turn you into a toad. We could share. What's share? We could each make use of him. Oh, let's cut him in half. Good, uh, I think. Uh, where will we do it? Your place or mine? Well, obviously your bird is in no condition to fly and it's too far to walk. Besides, my corns are acting up. I don't trust you. Just give him to me. I found him. I have him. I'll turn you into a toad. You don't have your wand. 
Smurf is such a rarity, uh, I can think of so many possibilities. Dried, for instance, he might make a wonderful chili powder. And how do we know that he's a Smurf at all? I've never seen a red Smurf. Oh, get on with it! Oh, Papa Smurf, we must do something. Hefty the blanket. I tell you, Hugger, that this is a mistake. If nothing else, we can hold him for ransom. It is only a matter of time before the Blue Smurfs show up. Get on with it! <coughs> Gargamel, give me that song! Listen to me, you old crone! This Smurf, whatever his color, is worth more as one than he is as two! I refuse to carry out your imbecilic idea! <coughs> Look! A Smurf! Oh! Another! Now! Gotcha! <laughs> what the... <coughs> oh! Oh, they're getting... <laughs> away! <laughs> hurry! Hurry! <laughs> oh, you fool! This is all your fault! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it, you old crone! <laughs> Destroy my Halloween, will you? <laughs> Yay! Listen, Lazy, don't feel so bad. Red, green, purple, who cares? It's being a Smurf that counts. As I said to Papa Smurf... Brady, please! Mother Nature meant no harm, Lazy. She ruined my Halloween. No, she didn't. Look at it this way. Now you don't need a costume. <laughs> Brainy. Maybe being red has some compensations you haven't even considered yet, like... Brainy! But you must help him. Mother, there's nothing I can do. But one little smurf. Surely you can do something. Really, Father, you make the simplest thing sound so... It's, uh, uh, are you sure you had enough to eat? There's a lot more jam. More jam? Yes, more jam. Mother, you are very persuasive. Um, just this once, I'll do it. Oh, Father, you are a wonder. <coughs> Red wand, white wand, green and yellow. Change not the world, just one little fellow. Look at it this way. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I mean... Oh. Papa Smurf! What's going on here? 
Oh, I don't know, Papa Smurf. He was just sitting there when suddenly... I hate suddenly. Oh! I'm me again. I'm blue. Yay! Thank you, Mother Nature, wherever you are. And happy Halloween. <laughs> just in time for the party. Just in time for a nap, if you ask me. We wish you a happy birthday. We wish you a happy birthday. We wish you a happy birthday and Halloween too. Little Smurfs, I am ready to announce the four finalist teams in the annual Smurf Ball Playoffs. Hooray! And uh, that means you can stop blowing your horn, Harmony. Hooray! The four finalist team captains are... Smurfette! Yay! Oops! <laughs> Taylor! Yay! It's our Smurfing uniforms that make the difference. Hefty! Yay! That's no surprise! <laughs> and last but not least... Rainy! Hooray! Now that is a surprise! <laughs> oh, this is the first time my team has ever made the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and I'll be beside you every step of the way. You mean every trip of the way? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Tomorrow is my big day. Tomorrow I will single-handedly win the big Smurf ball game. <laughs> rainy, rainy, rainy. Ladies and gentle Smurfs, you are watching a legend in motion. Every move he makes will knock your socks up. Here comes the winning point, ladies and gentle Smurfs. Oh. Oh, What's this? Some uncoordinated Smurf with two left feet is running toward the champ. It's Clumsy Smurf. He's not even supposed to be on this part of the field. No, Clumsy, no! no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a tragedy. There is no joy in Smurf Village. Mighty Brainy has Smurf out. <gasps> that Clark Clumsy is gonna lose this game for me. Oh, if only he wouldn't show up. Hmm, but why wouldn't he show up? He might not show up if he was sick. Or if he thought he was sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. Clumsy is even clumsy in his sleep. <gasps> Gosh, I've broken out in polka dots. Um, I think it comes from too much polka dancing. You'd better stay in bed, Clumsy. It's better to miss the big game than start a polka dot epidemic in the village. <laughs> All right, Farmer, it's just you and me against Smurfette, Greedy, and Handy. Oh, Brainy, where's Clumsy? Um, he's not feeling well, Papa Smurf. I think he's, uh, seeing spots. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> what seems to be the problem, Clumsy? Uh, Brainy says I've been dancing to polka too much, Papa Smurf. All right, Farmer, kick the ball to Greedy. Uh, why? See that hungry look on his face? Any minute now, he's gonna whip out a cupcake and his hands will be full. Yippee! We're winning! We're winning! We're... Yeah, Brainy! <laughs> Papa Smurf cared my polka dots! <laughs> oh, no! This can't be happening. <clears throat> Are you glad I'm back, Brainy? <laughs> uh, let me put it this way, Clumsy. Having you back is like a dream come true. Mm. Good. <laughs> Time's up! <laughs> we won! We won! Uh, did, did we get the point? Did we get the point? No. 
and I never want you beside me every step of the way again. Get the point? Uh, not really. Congratulations, Smurfette and Hefty. Your teams will smurf on to the Smurf Ball Championships. Brainy and Taylor, I'm sorry your teams did not win, but there's still plenty of fun ahead. Because now, you're all members of the Preparation Committee. The Preparation Committee? Every year I end up on the Preparation Committee. Oh! Brainy and Clumsy, I'd like to send you on a little trip. A trip perfect for Clumsy. I'd like you to fetch some chocolate sauce from Darkness Cavern. Greedy will need two buckets full for his celebration cake. Yeah, one for the cake and one for the cook. But remember, my little Smurfs, don't go near the biggest, bubbliest chocolate pool. It contains the sweetest chocolate, but the legendary Darkness Monster lives within its bottomless depths. Gosh, that sounds scary. Going anywhere with you, Clumsy, is scary. <sighs> Uh, could you slow down, Brainy? Clumsy, I refuse to slow down my lifestyle to accommodate your clumsiness. You wouldn't have to be clumsy if you really tried. Uh, I do try, Brainy, but, but I've just always been this way. <laughs> oh, there's the pool where the darkness monster lives. I wonder if his chocolate really tastes smurfier. All I need is one teensy-weensy taste to determine if... you see? Um, Poppy? Poppy? What do you see now? Um, Hefty. Hmm, if Brady thinks Smurfette looks like Hefty, he has a serious problem. Brainy, the only way you can regain your sight is if I make you a new pair of glasses. To make the glass, I must fetch some rare and special sand from the Sandman in the faraway land of Nod. Snoring salamanders, Pappy. I've always wanted to see what the Sandman looks like. Why, certainly, my little Smurflings. I'll need all the help I can get. Goodbye! Goodbye! And take care, Brainy. Oh, don't worry about me, Papa Smurf. My incredible wisdom and charm will see me through. Uh, would you like some uh, carrots, Brainy? Carrots are really smurfy for your eyes. No, thank you. How about joining me for some eye exercises? One and two, and one and two, and one. No, thank you. Uh, need any help getting around, Brady? No, you're the last Smurf I'd ask for help, Clumsy. You'd probably lead me straight into a wall. Uh. All right, every Smurf, gather around. Uh, Brainy, we're right in front of you. I, uh, I, I knew that. Now, since Papa Smurf is away, I will be in charge of the preparation committee. I want every Smurf to get to work decorating the grandstand. I will begin by decorating this tree. I hate being a tree. Now I'll decorate with these balloons. Lazy, will you get out of my way? Where are my balloons? They flew away. Thanks a lot, Lazy. Thanks a lot. Oh, I thought I told you to stay out of my way, Lazy. I am out of your way, Brainy. I, Brainy Smurf, Fairy Picker Extraordinaire, will see to it the Smurfs have plenty of Smurf berries to munch on at the game. Brainy, stop! You're squashing all my Smurf berry seedlings. Well, this is a pretty stupid place to keep them anyway. Ouch! And this is a pretty stupid place to keep a Smurf ball. Oh. Greedy.
Speedy will appreciate my help. I'll surprise him by baking his celebration cake. Hmm. This must be flour. And this smells like sarsaparilla. Oh, Greedy will be so surprised. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Fire! Fire! Never fear! Vanity and the Smurf Fire Brigade is here. <coughs> what happened, Brainy? I don't know. <coughs> I was baking a cake in Greedy's kitchen and... Uh, Brainy, you weren't in Greedy's kitchen. You were in Papa Smurf's lab. Oh? Oh, well, I guess I'd better just stay home where I won't cause trouble. I'm not safe to have around anymore. There it is, my little Smurflings, the Land of Nod. Nina, good night, Owls and Abby. It was still daytime when we left the village. It's nighttime all the time in the Land of Nod, says it. How can anybody nod off around here with all that snoring? <laughs> That's the Sandman you hear, Snappy. He only wakes up at dusk to put the world to sleep with his sleepy sand. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wake him up early. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? My Smurfness? Uh, what happened to the jolly old Sandman with the uh, uh, big smile? He retired. I'm in charge now. Well, perhaps you can help us. We need to borrow some sleepy sand for... Forget it. I never give away my sleepy sand. Listen, Pillow Belly, we need that sand to make a new pair of glasses for our friend Brainy. And you darn well better give it to us. Oh, sleepy sheep, rid me of these unwelcome overnight guests. Sometimes you truly amaze me. Very clever, very clever, but you're still not giving a single grain of my sleepy sand. <laughs> Gosh, that sounds like me. Huh? Uh, but it can't be me, because I'm right here. Clumsy, can I come in? Huh? Oh, uh, sure, Bernie. Ouch! Gosh, are you all right? No, I'm not all right. Oh, clumsy, I feel so stupid and clumsy, always running into things. I know exactly how you feel. I'm, I'm sorry I got mad at you for being clumsy, clumsy. I just didn't understand. I understand. Clumsy, will you be my eyes? Will you help me see where I'm going so I can smurf around the village like every other smurf? Gosh, Brainy, I'd be honored. You just hold on to my shoulder, and I'll be beside you every step of the way. Is that you, Clumsy? Yep. <laughs> it's time for breakfast. How about some cereal, Brainy? What? <gasps> Sorry. Uh, maybe you'd like some Smurf Berry juice instead. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Sorry. Uh, Clumsy. Uh, yeah, Brainy? Thank you. Mmm, it was worth the wait. Uh, oh, look who's here, Brady. Ah, baby Smurf. <laughs> and Grouchy, I'd know your frowning face anywhere. I hate my frowning face anywhere. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Want a Smurf bear, Brady? Don't mind if I do. You know, being clumsy isn't so bad when I'm with you. Shucks, Brainy. <laughs> Sometimes it can be downright fun. And it's a great way to have lunch with Smurf Ann. Really? Oh, yeah. You see, I trip and fall, and then she'll say, Oh, Clumsy, are you all right? And before I know it, I ask her if she's all right. And then before I know it, she asks me to lunch. <laughs> Amazing. How about another rendition of quotation 552A, Clumsy? All right. Uh, who, uh, who, uh... Who's the brainiest of them all? When you need a brain, who do you call? 
Brady! <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> oh, here's a new quotation I wrote, Clumsy. Could you read it back to me? Sure. Uh, 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 let me help you, Clumsy. Ahem. It is easy to pretend we are strong. It is much harder to admit we are weak. A true friend, by loving every part of us, teaches us to love our weaknesses. Gosh, I like this one, Brainy. You can have it, Clumsy. In fact, you can have all of them. <laughs> That's all right, Brainy. I'll, I'll just take this one. <laughs> it's time for the annual Smurf Ball Championships! Yay! Come on, Brainy, let's go! No, Clumsy, you, you go without me. You've been a big help, but you can't help me see the game. Oh, yes, I can, Brainy. Oh, come on, you'll see. All right, Smurf Boomba! Smurf Ball, Smurf Ball, Smurf Ball, Smurf Ball! Smurf Ball, she's kicking the ball to Vanity. Yeah. Oh, gosh, Vanity's looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> and he misses the ball. Yay! Woo! <laughs> he does this every year. Hefty's trying to take Vanity's mirror away from him. <laughs> Vanity won't let him. What a game! What a game! Time jump! Unbelievable, Smurfette. The way you smurfed that ball reminded me of my own incredible skill. Ah! A Smurf Fairy Bird with a message from Papa Smurf. My dear little Smurfs, I may be gone a long time. The Sandman refuses to give me the sand I need to make Brainy's glasses. I am trying to get him to change his mind. Please keep your fingers crossed for me. Love, Papa Smurf. Clumsy, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take me back to Dark Nest Cavern to find my glasses. But, 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 Brainy, that scary Dark Nest monster's there. No, Clumsy, that scary Dark Nest monster is here, right in front of me. Please help me, Clumsy, please. Oh, gosh. All right, Brainy. We may trip and fall down a lot, but I'll get you there. Oh! It much further, Clumsy. It depends if you're talking about up <gasps> or down. I'm scared, Clumsy. Don't worry, Brainy. I'm right here. <clears throat> Stop it! Stop it! I've got to get some sleep. I'm getting sandbags under my eyes. I'm sorry, Mr. Sandman, but we're going to keep singing until you give us the bag of sleepy sand. If it's sleepy sand you want, I'll give you sleepy sand. Oh, no. Oh, oh he's trying to smurf us to sleep. Oh, I, I must stay awake. For Brainy's sake. Don't look down. Don't look down. You know, Clumsy, I never thought I could trust anyone this much. I actually trust you with my life, Clumsy. Gee, thanks, Brainy. Ah! Clumsy, where are you? Down here. Don't move, Clumsy. I'll find you. I'll find you. Gosh, Brainy, you saved my life. I, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Let's go! Gosh, I've never gone fishing for glasses before. <laughs> uh, whoa! Did you catch anything? Uh, yeah, <laughs> me. <laughs> all right, all right, I give up. I'll give you your bag of sleepy sand. Yippee! <clears throat> I mean, thank you, my friend. However, my sleepy sand is so precious, I must have something equally precious in return. How about my harmonica? You're kidding, of course. Uh, how about some of Greedy's goodies for a midnight snack? Not special enough. Hmm, you mentioned your brainy lost his glasses in darkness, Kevin. That's right. All right. I'll give you a bag of my sand if you fetch me some chocolate from that ferocious darkness monster. Consider it smurfed. Uh, this time, I'll get it right. 
They say 333's a charm. I think I got something. I think I've got us in big trouble. Clumsy, what's going on? Why, that sounds like clumsy. Gee, clumsy sounds mad. Let go of my friend, you monster. Oh, darkness monster. I've got him. I've got him, Papa Smurf. Good job, Rainy. Mr. Monster, Rainy needs his glasses back. Hmm. He wants to keep the glasses because before he found them, he couldn't see a thing. Maybe that's why he was groping around like that. <clears throat> in that case, Mr. Monster, could we have a bucket of your chocolate in exchange for the glasses? That sounds like yes to me. Yay! Papa Smurf, I know you like chocolate, but don't you think my glasses are more important? <laughs> to quote my favorite quotation from Brainy Smurf, trust me, trust me. No, no, this is my midnight snack. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Brainy, here's your new pair of glasses. Clumsy, would you put them on for me? Why, sure, Brainy. <laughs> Whoops! Whoa! 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 Ah, Clumsy. Just the Smurf I wanted to see. so much fun preparing for Clockwork's Bill Day Banquet. <laughs> well, almost every Smurf. <laughs> now, according to Brainy's first guide to better banquets, you should move the table two feet to the left. I hate two feet to the left. No, make that one foot to the right. Oh, gosh, I, I never remember which is the right and which is the left. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't mean my right foot. <laughs> Everything looks perfectly smurfy for Clockwork's Bill Day celebration. Well, he certainly deserves it. Yeah, Clockwork's always ready with a helping hand. Hmm. No smurf or machine is a bigger help than me. And I'll prove that I'm the most helpful smurf by lending you all a helping hand using my latest book, Brainy's Brilliant Helpful Hints. Well, then, how about helping me out with these plates, Brainy? Always glad to help a fellow smurf, Greedy. <laughs> now, one plate should be set over there, and one over there, and... Whoa! <laughs> Being helpful is such a thankless job. <laughs> That's the way to smurf it, Clockwork. Congratulations, Handsy. It's your turn to receive a helping hand from Brainy Smurf. Well, thanks, but no thanks, Brainy. I've already finished Clockwork's annual checkup, and I've adjusted Clockwork's writer's block so that he can write three times as fast. Why would that imitation Smurf need to write? <laughs> to help King Gerard write all his proclamations. It's my built day gift to Clockwork. Hmm. Maybe that silly conglomeration of nuts and bolts can do something meaningful after all. <gasps> like writing my next book. And to help prevent writer's cramp, I'll just lube him up with a little oil. Brady, stop! <laughs> Nothing like a little oil to moisten the complexion. Yay! <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> Some Smurfs don't realize how hard it is to find good help these days. But I'm sure Greedy will welcome a helping hand. Greedy, 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 this is your lucky day. Greedy? Hmm, I guess he's not home. No matter, I'll just lend a helping hand without him. Lucky I came along, this cake looks awful. A little yeast ought to smurf it back to size.
Thanks to my expert help, Greedy's cake will be as good as new. A pinch of rooster root, a dab of fidget fern, and a dash of wahoo oil. Mm. Oh. How's your experiment going, Papa Smurf? Not very well, I'm afraid. I've been working on this lava leveling formula for days, but it's still not right. I know what you mean, Papa Smurf. This muffin recipe I've been working on isn't cutting the mustard either. Oh. Why, that's it! It needs a pinch of mustard. I'm going to have to pay a visit to the wizard's library in order to complete my formula. The wizard's library? Gee, I'd sure like to check out a few of their magic cookbooks. <laughs> Sorry, Greedy, but you must be certified by the Board of Wizards to get your library card. The wizard's library contains the most powerful spells in all the world. Oh, and Greedy, be sure no Smurf touches my formula while I'm gone. Sure thing, Papa Smurf. Gee, I hope Papa Smurf gets back in time for Clockwork's Bill Day Banquet. Back already, Pa? Oh, it's just you, Brainy. Where's Papa Smurf? I'm sure he'll be thrilled to have my expert help with some complex experiment. Papa Smurf just left for the wizard's library. The wizard's library? Oh. Someday, the brilliant quotations of Brainy Smurf will be enshrined in that mysterious temple of knowledge. Oh, gosh, Brady, come quick. There's a giant cake raising the roof off your house. I don't understand. What could have gone wrong? I followed the recipe exactly. Looks like my helping hand gave Greedy's cake a real lift. Hmm, and it looks like Papa Smurf's experiment could use my expert help, too. Oh, gosh, Greedy, what are we going to do? Dig in, clumsy. We're going to have to eat our way out of house and home. <laughs> Now that's a fluffy cake. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've ruined Papa Smurf's spell book. And that means I'm ruined. Unless, unless I can duplicate the book before Papa Smurf returns from the wizard's library. And I know just how to do it. brown turnips to a pound of flour and garnish. There, ah, it's as good as new, and Papa Smurf will never know the difference. <clears throat> yes, well, I'm not exactly sure what each of these magic spells does. Perhaps it wouldn't hurt to test them in the forest so we can find out. library would be full of useless information if not for the forbidden room where the, the archives of evil are stored. And once I've absorbed all the powerful evil knowledge in the archives, nothing will stop me from taking the Smurfs' long life stone and achieving immortality. This looks like a good spot to test out Papa's first new spell book. Let's see, it says beat two eggs. Then whip. <laughs> These spells are brutal. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how long I'm supposed to keep whipping these poor eggs. I've obviously discovered the spell for making a tree fall. We'd better be more careful next time. These spells are very powerful. Hiccup. Hiccup. 
Ah, there it is. The archives of the only evil. Shh. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. I want to get in. There. I'm afraid that's out of the question. I'm not asking. I'm telling. Shh. Yeah. that hooded hiccupper. Once I absorb the evil from these <laughs> books, I'll be so powerful, I'll be able to summon the Smurfs' long life stone to me. <laughs> Not to mention getting rid of these confounded <laughs> hiccups. There's the evil intruder. Get him! I'm afraid the library will be closing early today. Soon, the long life stone will be mine. Mine! 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 I can't find clockwork anywhere! And I'm worried about Papa Smurf, too. He's still not back from the wizard's library. That's terrible! Oh, gosh! It looks like rain is missing, too. That's what I like about you, Clumsy. When things seem the gloomiest, you always look on the bright side. In order to be certain Papa Smurf's new spell book is working properly, I'd better cast one more spell. Drop two ripe apples in water. Then shake. than I thought. <gasps> My word! What could have done this to the wizard's library? Great Smurfs! Someone's broken into the forbidden archives of evil! <gasps> Nemesis! It must be my lucky day! <laughs> no! Hey, stop! The Smurf is sure to know where the Long Life Stone is hidden. Y you'll never find out where the Long Life Stone is from me! Oh, but I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> it's time to retrieve the Long Life Stone. Now tell me where it's hidden. Never! Never! Never say never! <laughs> this Smurf's memory in the palms of my hands. Lefty, you stay here and get a grip on that Smurf while my right-hand hand fetches the long life stone. That's right, Lefty. Give the Smurf a big hand. <laughs> I think we've waited long enough. I know I have. Oh. Well, I think Hefty means we should all lend a hand and start looking for Papa Smurf, Clockwork, and Brainy. <gasps> oh, gosh, it looks like a hand is being lent to us.
your party. <laughs> you don't have to beep your head off or knock mine off. <laughs> hey, where's that hand going with the long life stone? <gasps> the long life stone! Look out! Well, thanks, Smurfness. You're all right, Clockwork. Clockwork, do you think you can stop that pilfering palm? Rainy Smurf will save the day. By causing a tree to fall on that hazardous hand. Oh, gosh. What's wrong with Brainy? Nothing, Clumsy. As usual, Brainy's got egg on his face. I don't understand. It worked before. I must need a stronger spell. Let's stop wasting time and get that stone stealer. Place fresh vegetables in a bowl and toss. I guess I need more practice. Hey, wait for me! You, you'll never get away with this nemesis! Oh, but look how long you are. You're making a big mistake, nemesis. Oh, oh I can feel the, the power already. Don't come in here, my, my little Smurfs. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Be careful, clockwork. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really expect this silly toy to stop the most powerful wizard in the world. <laughs> Release the Smurf. Oof. At last, I'll have the long life stone. <laughs> and soon I'll be immortal. Thanks for coming in so handy, old good Smurf. Now that I have my hands on the <laughs> long life stone, I don't need you hands anymore. So be gone! Immortality, here I come! <laughs> oh dear, Papa Smurf, are you all right? I'm afraid none of us will be all right unless we can find some way to stop that evil Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf, I brought your spell book! Good work, Brainy! Way to go, Brainy! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Brainy, you've saved our Smurfberry Jam. Smurfberry Jam? Brainy, I thought you said this was my spell book. Um, it is, uh, sort of. Uh, you see, your spell book had a little, um, accident, so I made this magnificent copy. Oh, but don't worry, I personally tested the spells, and I can assure you they're incredibly powerful. But this isn't my spell book, it's Greedy's cookbook. I thought there was something funny about that zucchini spell. No, Brainy. Nemesis must never see this book. <laughs> it contains thousands of years of Smurf secrets. It does? Yes. Powerful spells that must never fall into evil hands. Give me that book. You can take the long life stone, but this book is too powerful even for you. Bring me that book. All the powerful, all powerful! I now possess pure ignorance! Ah, what's happening to me? Ah, take cover, my little smurfs! It 
looks like Smurfy goodness has triumphed once again. Nemesis thought he was absorbing powerful magic, but Brainy's book was so full of <coughs> pure ignorance, the evil knowledge Nemesis absorbed fled for its life. In other words, I, Brainy Smurf, once again saved the day. Naturally, I knew what I was doing all along. <laughs> my power! My beautiful evil power! <laughs> It's all gone now, Nemesis, so hand over the Long Life Stone. I may not be the most powerful warlock in the world, but with your Long Life Stone, I'll live the longest. Let's get him! Yeah! Everybody get him! Get him! Come and get it! <laughs> I can't stand to, to, to look at him! There are some advantages to being hideous. This ought to melt your circuits for good, you bag of boats! <laughs> Put me down, you... you gear-grinding gizmo! Clockwork, how come you weren't scared of that mean, ugly nemesis? <laughs> you see, Clumsy, Clockwork was built to see only the Smurfy goodness in everything, so Nemesis' evil ugliness didn't affect him. <laughs> Hooray for Clockwork! Well, now that the Long Life Stone is safe, we can return to honoring our special hero. The honor is all mine. For as you all know, I, Brainy Smurf, am always ready to lend a helping hand. In that case, Brainy, would you mind getting the cake out of the oven for me? You see, no Smurf can get by without my expert help. Uh, by the way, Greedy, where did you get the recipe for the cake? Why, from my cookbook, Papa Smurf. But if Brainy had your cookbook, then you must have gotten the recipe out of my spell book. <laughs> well, I guess now we know the recipe for getting rid of Brainy. <laughs> 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 